G'day guys, welcome back. I've got my canvas up on an angle here. <laughs> I'm gonna try something different today. Uh, do you remember when I did that uh, branch with the balloon medallions in blues? Well, I've got a lot of blues left over. A lot of the paints, they were just sitting in the cups and I thought, oh, what can I do with them? So I've added just a touch of water to them. Just, um, they don't, the paint doesn't just like drop straight and make a hole. It kind of just makes this tiny, tiny little mound. Probably about the same consistency I'd use for a swipe. And I'm going to try something different that puts a new meaning to the word pour painting. Now this canvas here is a 12 by 24 inch, uh, 30 by 60 centimeter. And... I'm going to use these syringes to do some pore painting. And they're all in the blues, the leftovers. Um, so darkest to lightest, there's like a turquoise and then a light greenish color in there as well. As I said, just leftovers from that painting. <clears throat> I didn't want to waste them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a blob up here of paint and let it drip down. I'm just leaving the canvas white because I want to see some white background coming through. But I've got lots of ideas of to do like um, a gold black background with black dripping, um, a red background with black and gold. So anyway, hopefully this will work because I'm excited to try something new um, and keep myself occupied while I'm in isolation when I'm not at work. So here we go. I'm just going to syringe a blob down now some of them will run all the way down and hit the puppy piddle pad some of them i'll just have sort of um a little bit down um, so just a little bit different oops making a little dent there i've got a bottle of flow troll underneath here it's making a dent there though maybe i'll need to put it up a little bit higher hmm still making a dent i didn't think of that i think i'm gonna to have to put two bottles um and put it behind the timber actually or maybe i can get away with just one i'll put it over here so i'm not going to knock it i'll just put it there my bottle of flow troll there we go that's just holding the frame up on the side there because it was making a dent okay so that one's gone all the way down once this is dry i might layer over the top with a thinner amount of paint to get uh, a different kind of a look. I'm just going to tip that back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to just go and do some of the dark blue first. All the way along. Some will have more pressure than others. And as I said, this is my first canvas that I'm doing this to. I did a little bit on a tile just to work out what the consistency needed to be. Um, and when I put one colour over the top of another colour, sometimes they split. So I'm going to wait until it's dry and then I'll go over with another colour. Right, this is my next blue. At least I can see what I'm doing from up here. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you do a little blob on the top here. And I, I do it sort of on the top and let it run down. So it's just all part of the art, isn't it? of us being creative, trying something a little bit different. Okay, that's those two. How's that looking? Just come around and have a look. Very drippy. <laughs> All right, next color. This is like a teal, whoops. Oops, I'm dripping. This one seems a little bit thicker. Whoop, it's kind of being sticky. I have to take it off the back there being a little bit drippy. That's all right, I'll just take it through the back. Actually, that looks quite pretty there, having a drip going down the back. That way, I'm, at least I'm not dripping forward, but hey, this is you know my first attempt, so I'm learning as I'm going. And I don't really want the colors to mix on top of each other just yet, because as I said, I found, oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh. 
must have had something in there and it kind of spurted. <laughs> Live and learn. All right, so those are the three darker colours. Now I've got my um, light blue and light green. So hopefully there's some room in between those. Um, hopefully it won't take too long to dry and then I can come and do some more layers. How are they going? I have to come around the front and have a look each time. As long as they're not touching, it should be fine. Oh, and yeah, you've just gone way off, haven't you? I find if I if the one colour touches the other colour, it kind of grabs and then it comes down on an angle. But that's okay. I'll fix that one up on the next um, next pour when it's dried. I'll, I'll go over it again. But yeah, where, where it touches, it grabs onto the one next to it and then they go down together. So that's another reason why I, um, I won't... Put another layer on while it's wet. It's just not worth it. How's it looking? Oops, no one touched a bit on top. It's a bit hard for me to see where I'm going. Oh, I haven't left any room for my green. All right, here we go, a bit of green. Oops. I have to close one eye. I'm kind of <laughs> looking at it skew if I have to close one eye and then I can see what I'm doing. Just because I'm looking at it on a weird angle. Oh, see how it's touching? That's what I was saying to you earlier. If it touches like that, it grabs and goes on to the next one. Which is what I'm hoping to do on the next layer. See how it's dripped on top of that one? So you get that mixture of colour. That's what I want to do on the next one. I hope my head's not in the way when I'm looking over like that. <clears throat> I guess I could go from the front, couldn't I? Ah, oh, done it again. Look, it's grabbed. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll better just leave it there. Because I haven't got enough room between my stripes now. I mean, that looks pretty there because I've gone over the top. Um, but that's that's what I'm going to do on my next layer. So yay! It's going to be fun. It's going to be look pretty hay. And you can still see your white negative space underneath. But I'll fix that up on the next one. And uh, yeah. Take my gloves off. That was fun, you guys. <laughs> it is fun to experiment and try something new. How's it looking? How's it looking? Good looking. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it there. And then when I come back and do some more layers, I'll go over the top of these ones and I'll make them shorter. So they just sit maybe halfway down on top of one of the other drips, just to give it that sort of 3D kind of look. So I will see you for the next layer. Now I want to do another layer because I'm impatient and it's in the way, so I can't do anything else until I finish this. So I'm going to just use my hair dryer and dry it off. I'll keep going. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so it's pretty much dry it's probably a couple of little areas that are still a bit damp but i'm just going to go with it because i'm impatient and as i said i can't do anything else because it's in my way so and i can't pick it up and move it because it might you know wiggle out of shape and all that um i did go out while that was drying i went out to the um pharmacy trying to get some toilet paper and flour I couldn't get any but I did manage to get some um, bigger syringes these are 60 mil um, I think I upset the pharmacy a bit the pharmacist because he said oh do you need needles with those I said no I don't need needles thank you <laughs> I'm just putting paint in them so 
I think that made him feel a little bit better. All right, let's go with the second layer. Now, actually, I'll put these here. Might work in front so I can see what I'm doing. I'm standing on the side of the table. Right, so this one I need to go over again. So I don't like how that started. Oh, actually, I have had these sitting. Oh, there we go. I had them sitting over there with a damp cloth over the ends because I thought they might get, you know, dried blobs on them and then I wouldn't be able to use them. All right, we'll go over that one. There he goes. Go, you good thing. Go. Actually, I better squirt onto there with all of them. So there's quite a bit of resistance there. Oh, there we go. I think they have all sort of got dried paint on the ends. So just have a little go if you're stopping. Make sure that they're all flowing again. All right, uh, let's go over some green. Actually, it might be easier for me to stand up here behind because I'm holding the syringe on a bit of an angle. So now that I'm layering on top of one of the others, I don't want to go all the way down. I'll just let my syringe sit on top there and just do some little blobs going down. Do a few and then I'll change colours. Hopefully they're all dry enough for me to work on. Whoa, oops, I dropped. I dripped. I'll have to fill in that space later. So I think it's going to take maybe three layers. It just all depends on how much, um, you know, how much paint you want on there, I guess. Let's see if I can cover up that little blue drip there. So once everything's dry, you can, you know, go over or in between the two. Mm. Let's see if I can go in between a couple that have dried. So in between these two here. I'm still leaving a little bit of white, which is nice. Okay, and I've dripped on that one, so I'm going to have to put some paint on it. And I'm going to sort of go, oh, I dripped again. I've got to make sure that I'm lifting my little syringe up. Now this area here where that one's bled into the other one, I'm going to go over that, see if I can get that looking a bit better. Oh, and you, you're a bit of a mess, aren't you? Let's see what we can do here. Try not to let the two wet paints touch each other. You can always come back later on and do some more. So you can kind of cover up half your line or go over the middle of it. If you go over the middle of it, it kind of looks like that. Do some bigger drips and some smaller drips just so that you're getting that variation in the look of your painting so i think this is something pretty easy you know we can all do <clears throat> oh have i told you about my consistency i don't know if i have so it's my glue and water mix my uh 60 glue 40 percent water that i always use you know, for my flip cups and swipes and all of that <clears throat> so it's one to one pouring medium to my Montmartre paint and uh, then I just added a little splash of water so it just leaves like the tiniest little mound where else can I go 
don't know that I can go anywhere else at the moment. I might have to wait for that to dry. It depends on you know how much how much you want. Oops, I can go over here. Just depends on the look that you're after, how much of the background that you want to see. I will need to fix that up there, but I'll have to wait for it to dry. See that little blue there's running over that navy. It's actually navy. It looks black, doesn't it? It's actually navy. So it's just sort of skimming over it, which is nice. And then this lighter green over the teal. So yeah, that's the kind of look that you can get. That one can just go sort of over half. It still seems to be attracted to the paint. Because I started on the dry canvas, but it's attracting to the, the paint. I guess it's, I mean, it's dry, but I guess it's slipperier. So it's kind of being attracted to that. Maybe paint a background first. That's what I'm going to do on my next one. I'm going to paint a background first. Um, because maybe that's a good thing to do. So that the paint doesn't you know, slide across. Um, I think that's probably, oh, you're, you're wet. I can go onto you, can't I? Where was that that I just saw? I'm trying to find stripes that are dry. That I can add a little bit more paint to. just sort of layering on top of a dry stripe. Mm, I think I need a little bit more navy here and there. Where can I add navy? A little bit in there. Oops, you don't want to move. There we go. Make sure it's flowing. Oh no, no, don't hang on to that. See, it's hanging on. Oh, can I? Oh. Yeah, so this, you can't rush this, you guys. Just um, just wait. All right, I'll leave that. I was going to wipe it, but I'll leave it. I'll wait till it's dry, and then I'll go in on it again. So, you know, as you can see, it takes a little while. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while, but I'll leave it sit for a little bit, and then I'll get my hairdryer back onto it and dry it so I can do another layer, and then that'll be it. But, uh, yeah, looking good so far, hey? Do you like it? <laughs> it's a bit of fun. All right. I'll see you for the next layer soon. Right, oh, I gave it a blast with my hairdryer and hopefully it's dry now. Oh, a little bit damp still there. So I'll go over some of these areas that need a little bit of fixing up. Just got my syringes here. I covered them with a damp cloth, just hopefully so that the they won't get clogged up. Now I will just make sure that all the paint's coming out. Might be a little bit of air in some of them. So I'll just make sure that the paint is coming out. Oh, that one's nearly empty. Oops, there we go. So it might happen. So do it over on something that doesn't matter if it gets a bit of a Blurge like that. Right, so now I have to go over this area here. Let's see if I can fix this. There and there. And then once that's dry, I can put a little bit of the green in between. Now I want to add some more of the darker colour. I just think that needs a bit of a pop. We don't have to see, oops, why are you stuck? We don't have to see too much of the white. So the stripes pretty much all go all the way down. So now I'm going to do some just little ones that don't go all the way. Hopefully just stay sort of near the top just to give it a little bit of dimension. And we'll cover up some of these white gaps while we're at it. We as in me. 
can go over the top of some of them, like over the green a little bit. They don't all have to be the same length. There's some big ones, some little ones. Okay, I think that's nice. Now what else do we need? I've put a little bit more of the, the green in a couple of areas over here. I kind of messed that up. So let's see if I can improve on that a little bit. And again, just near the top. I don't want them to go all the way down. I'll go over some of the previous lines. If you search drip art on YouTube, you'll see different sort of varieties of this. Some artists like the drips to run into the others, but I personally just prefer them to be straight down. So when you see them, you'll see quite a lot that have got them on angles like that. I think they've just done it all in one go and not waited for it to dry. But yeah, I, I like it for them to be straight. See that little area there? I'm going to have to go over that one. It still seems to be following the paint rather than staying on the, the dry canvas. My next one though, because uh, I'm doing two at the moment because I have to wait for them to dry. So my next one's got a gold background and um, because it's, it's painted background, I don't have the dry canvas in there. So we'll see how that one goes. I feel like we need a little bit more dark in here. Whoops. I think that's getting to the end of that one. That's, that's quite thick, that one. Oh, I hope it goes all right. It's looking a bit odd. I wonder if I can wipe him off. Mm, no. I don't think I can. I think he's... Oh, maybe. Let's try. Oops. There we go. I just don't like what he's doing there. It's very blobby. They're still learning. I think that was coming to the end. It must have been a little bit thick. It's looking really quite blobby there. Try to fix that area. Whether or not it'll fix, I don't know. So tempting to run my finger down, but I'm gonna just let, <clears throat> let gravity do its thing. See how it's grabbed onto the green there? I'll just let gravity do its thing and see how it goes. Maybe I can <clears throat> encourage it a little bit with the, the flat end of the bamboo skewer. Mm, not really. I think that's another one that's going to have to be redone when it's dry. If I put a lot of paint on the, the weight of it might just push it straight down and cover that up. There it goes. Go you good thing. Well, that looks better up there anyway, doesn't it? My little mishap. So yeah, <laughs> don't wait until it's almost at the end there. Might be a little bit thick in the bottom. And wait until your layers are dry before you add some more. Um, let's see what else. It's dry over here. Put a little bit of that blue in. Just picking some areas that are dry. Just to add a little bit. Oh, you're not dry, are you? I'm just trying to cover in some of the white. A little bit of blue over the top of the green there. And what else? You're pretty dry. You can have a little bit there 
the shorter drips. I don't want them all to go straight down to the bottom. Oops, that's the same colour. Can't have that. A little bit of the light blue dripping down over that other blue. This covers up my little mistake there as well. So there's a few white strips left. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, you could, you know, go over and over and over and over. But for the sake of this video, I think, I think I'm done. And I think it's quite a long video. So there you go. What do you think? Do you like it? My first drip art painting. Woohoo! Actually, standing over here behind the tripod, I can see that this area here along the edge needs something. Something. Let's do some green. Just a bit plain, that little edge there, isn't it? Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Doesn't like the edge. All right, let's go a little bit. Let's wipe it off. So obviously we can't go too close to the edge. About there. Can't go too close to the edge or is this gonna run straight off the canvas, hey? Another lesson learned. Look at this, we're learning all kinds of things today. Sure are. Just gonna cover up a little bit of this white I know I'm going over my colours, but just trying to cover up the white a little bit. You're dry, so you should be all right there. Oops, and you're dry. It's wet in there. I'll leave a couple of like little thin strips of white. See how that blue's gone off to the side? I don't know why I'm doing it because I'm trying to hurry and I've said to you guys don't do that don't put a wet on a wet because it grabs hold and then follows it down um, I might just fix that up once it's dry put another little piece in actually maybe I can I do it now now it's bugging me come this way no no come this way no all right it's not doing it I wanted it to come down here. Once it's dry, I'll put another little piece in there. But uh, hopefully you guys have learnt something with this. And, you know, it's art, so it doesn't have to all be exact. You know, it is what it is. It's liquid paint. It's going to go where it wants to go. So for me, it's a bit difficult because, you know, I like my lines to be straight and I like a bit of structure. So I'll just have to get over it, hey? <laughs> And, um, and just embrace it. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Have a go at uh, drip art. Something new. Something to um, maybe keep us entertained while we're in isolation. And um, I'll show you the dry picture anyway a bit later on. Maybe in the next few days. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye for now.